Uh, hi all, so I am Jishnadeep actually, so I am making this video because I have some hours left here for after my internship and I didn't want to check mails and everything, so that's why I am making this video. So this video will mainly be the experience of my internship at Anapati factory here, uh, ITC Anapati factory. So firstly how do how did I get the factory? So most of the people will get actually the headquarters but if you want a factory you need to actually insist for a factory. So I had actually also told you in my interview and also when the chief executive called that I want to know more about the workings of the factory also and plus work on my project. So I got the Anapati factory. Regarding the location, uh, it's a very remote location. So if you want to hang out on weekends and balls and all then don't go for a factory I suppose. Uh, but two months you can bear with this place, Not you can't do a permanent job probably here, yeah. that's a difficult task to do. But yeah, coming to the work, uh, my project was basically on Internet of Things at Anapati factory. So that is basically related to smart industry and connected machine learning. So I would say uh, your work won't be as core as developing an app and all that. So I don't think then you can call that a core job where you are developing an app but here what I got to learn is that firstly I got to learn about the systems in a factory so there are a huge number of complicated systems we use in a factory starting from PLCs, MCCs, what not so just to understand even if you go in the even if I after two months if I, if I go to the plant I'll find something new so that's how complex it is the factory but once you start working on the project, you actually have to interact with people and get to know about many things in the factory, how they work and all that. So that way you will actually get to know how your, whatever you learn in college, it's actually implemented on a real, uh, real, in the reality. So it's a very complicated system to study, the PLC and all. So regarding my project, basically it's an internet of things. So firstly what I had to do is that, I had to identify the scope, so where all IoT can be applied, uh, how will it be beneficial to the factory's performance, manufacturing, uh, downtime reduction. These were all the feasibility study I had to do. This included literature survey, then many feasibility survey talking to people here and all that. So this actually enabled me not only to you know, know more about IoT and all these stuff, but it also enabled me to know how uh, factory performance is uh, how what on you know, what all factors in the factory performance depend on, depend on. So this will actually definitely further whenever you do anything, this will actually help you. So generally any company you join will have a factory. So if you are at a headquarters and making some decisions, it is important that you know the ground level reality of a factory rather than just making decisions in there. So this is why. Uh, regarding my uh, for the project, uh, what I had to do once I had found did that. A basic study and all that I actually prepared a detailed document of the requirements we want and how we plan to have it and how we want in a dashboard reporting people you know all those things I had made and then you have to actually find out people who does do such solutions so you are one intern you can't actually implement so you have two months and you can't implement all these at a you no know, intern level definitely you can't do it so you have to contact people who we, who they uh, at the factory level they call vendors so i had uh, contact many vendors you know rock with these hcl people so you have to insist them to come down to your factory have a discussion with them for a day or so so then they'll actually come up with the architecture the phase wise plan and they'll give you a cost so further what my work was that to evaluate the vendors so who would do a better work who is charging us less who has a prominence in the industry and all that so from what these things what you learn is that you know not only get to learn about the technical parts i'll tell you technical part you learn a lot so starting from machines to serial communication and speak of it and you learn from it in the factory so apart, apart from that you also get to learn about the financial uh, things so for calculating cost benefit and all that you need to know some basic financial calculations and all that so that is one thing you get to learn and other thing is you have to speak to a lot of vendors and all 
So when you do so, uh, you actually improve your speaking skills. So you need to explain them what you are thinking of. You just can't. The document is not enough for you to prepare. You need to explain them and say, come down to the factory and also discuss with them the integration of the current systems, PLC and all. So you know that really increases your knowledge once you discuss with them because they also give a new insight. And last thing is the presentation skills. So uh, what I found is that at ITC presentation is something very important. So if your solution doesn't look impressive or impressive enough to the management, they will actually not accept it. So it is important that you present your solution well to the management in a way that it is also appealing for the uh, user user friend uh, what user, uh, for the working of the factory plus it is also appealing in the cost uh, cost uh, area so that should be the you know that is how the presentation is very important so you have typically i had around three presentations so one was a mid review one was the final pre-final one with the unit team at the factory the last one was at the divisional headquarters so you typically have three presentations uh, you may have four depending if the guide wants uh, for the guide the guides are very helpful if you ask them for help so if you just sit you know you just sit with the guide and keep doing your work don't ask him he will not tell you anything because he is not he won't just he's working here for 27 years so my guide is around 27 years and 27 years old and so if you don't ask him he won't help you so you need to ask them continuously that you want this, you want that, and you need this information and all that. So that was a lot of help. So once you start interacting with them, then even during evenings when you're playing badminton with them or having dinner, they'll share some information and they'll tell you come to my office tomorrow. Uh, so I'll share you some information. So that is very beneficial. I'll tell you that that contributed to 50% of my project. So yeah, so you have to definitely interact from your side or with the guy as well as they will ask you things so that won't happen and so that is about the internship mainly and about the overall experience I, for me it was a good enough experience except i didn't like the location very much because it's a remote location for two months i found it decent but not for a long time definitely not for a long time and uh, yeah i think that's enough that's it and but this is mine this is specifically to the my experience related to a factory level internship i can't really tell about the internships which are related to supply chain or ones which are at the divisional headquarters which is more about researching some solutions so you can ask that someone else but yeah this is more about the factory level internship so thank you and hope this is helpful for you to choose an internship.